could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. If my YouTube analytics are accurate, it looks like a lot of y'all are searching for videos about wellness. And you're not alone. The term wellness is frequently tossed around in the popular lexicon of YouTube. I mean, some would say even a little too frequently. It's no wonder that the aura of wellness is to attract a viewer's attention. I mean, after all, who doesn't want to be well? While often used as a buzzword in modern culture, wellness is nothing new. The ancient Greeks, including the philosopher Aristotle, wrote of the importance of a prevention-focused approach to health. Wellness is not a static state, but rather an ongoing process of self-care and self-improvement. It involves taking proactive steps to enhance one's overall quality of life, promote self-awareness, and make choices that align with one's values and goals. Ultimately, wellness is about finding harmony and vitality in all areas of life to lead to a fulfilling and satisfying existence. Alternatively, viewing wellness as this either-or concept, for example, either going to or skipping a yoga class, does everyone a huge disservice. Wellness is not something to be added or subtracted. It's about honoring and improving your life in the present moment. A wellness framework works best when you can utilize the strengths and resources that are easy to access. So here are some tips, hacks, whatever you want to call them, to implement more wellness into your daily routines. Before we dive into the importance of a day full of wellness, I think it is crucial to talk about the night before. Getting enough sleep is so critical in this department, yet so many of us are sleep deprived. But here's the thing to keep in mind, a lot of us don't even realize that we're falling short in this department to begin with. Developing a relaxing or therapeutic power down or wind down routine can absolutely be beneficial to help with this. If you're anything like me, you might catch yourself working late into the night, which even if you love the work, it can still keep our minds racing, keep our stress levels high. So what I've had to do is just force myself to stop, to turn off my phone or my computer and instead indulge in a good book or a good TV show, a bubble bath. Experts actually believe that 50% of insomnia cases are linked to stress or emotions. But of course, finding healthy outlets to manage your stress throughout the day and before you go to bed, you will absolutely notice improvements whenever it comes to the quality of your sleep. I've talked a lot about magnesium in the past and there are in fact a lot of natural sleep aids in case you do want that extra boost in the sleep department. Exercising throughout the day is really great. Making sure that you're getting sunshine throughout the day or at least early in the morning is good for that. Cutting out caffeine, etc. So many things. Personally, whenever I want to just ensure that I get a night of quality quality sleep for the upcoming day, I usually opt into a CBD or CBN product. I've recently been loving Winged Wellness. They have a product actually named Sleepy for this exact reason. It has CBD from full spectrum hemp extract, which helps regulate your sleep and wake cycle. My emotions and stress levels have kind of been all over the place lately. So taking these has made me go from waking up throughout the night with just restless thoughts, lots of anxiety, to now being able to sleep through the night and actually wake up feeling well rested. It also has melatonin and 5-HTP, both of which are vastly known for enhancing the quality of your sleep too. And their product is vegan, which is an added bonus because you guys know I follow a plant-based diet. Winged Wellness is such a great company. Everyone there is so, so nice and they have tons of great products, but the sleepy one in particular just has made such an instrumental difference in my sleep quality over the last few months. So they were nice enough to actually sponsor this video and give you guys 20% off if you use the code KD20 with your purchase. And thank you so much to Winged Wellness. Uh, your products are amazing and thank you for sponsoring this video. All in all, cumulative sleep debt is such a barrier between you and then your daily wellness and optimal performance. If you want to know how to sleep better, the answers are simple. It's everything I just talked about, but in our very productivity focused culture, it's so often overlooked. But all in all, get good quality sleep. Another tip would be to make your healthy food habits 
easy. Eating healthfully is something that many of us strive for because we want to take care of our well-being. The advantages of nourishing your body well, they're pretty clear. You'll feel more energized, your overall health will improve, your productivity will flourish, but why then is it so difficult to maintain a healthy eating routine despite all of our efforts to do so? And more importantly, are there any strategies for us to make it easier? Something I swear by whenever it comes to making healthy choices in the kitchen is that your environment has the incredible ability to change your behavior. You can make some very, very small incremental changes to your environment to make those healthy eating and drinking habits so much easier. One is to just make water more readily available. Most of us just habitually and mindlessly take a swig of coffee or soda as we do other tasks or as we're working throughout the day. But if you wanna increase your hydration, your water intake, try this instead. I know it sounds silly, but get a water bottle you actually love. For me, I love my Camelbacks, I swear by them. I know a lot of people love those Stanley cups. Those are super popular right now. Whatever it may be for you, find a water bottle that you really, really enjoy and keep it somewhere near you throughout the day. For me personally, I'm not going to drink a ton of water if it's just sitting in a boring glass or a disposable cup, but having a water bottle I actually like where I can see my progress of drinking my water and having it nearby me on my desk throughout the day, it just makes it so much easier to increase my water intake without actually thinking about it. One of my favorite health hacks is to put your healthy foods, snacks, into clear containers. The old saying, out of sight, out of mind, it has some truth to it. Your mind oftentimes determines what it wants to eat based off of what our eyes see. That's why fast food ads are incredibly effective. There are a few products that I like to put in clear containers, not only for the aesthetic benefits, because I do like that, but also it makes them so much more easy to grab throughout the day. So like quinoa that I cook with regularly or things that I like to snack on, like my Primal Island granola, I put into clear containers too. It makes it so much more easy to stay on track whenever it comes to your health and wellness goals by snacking on things with natural sweeteners like real fruit and steering clear from the nasties like artificial syrups and sugar and all that stuff. This granola in particular has a lot of different flavors. So something fun that I like to do is once one container is empty, then I'll fill it up with a different one just to kind of mix it up. Like I'll start with their toasted coconut granola one week, which has a nutty, slightly sweet profile of coconut, of course, and then I'll swap it the next week for, let's say their blueberry, which has nuts, it has seeds, it has like a little hint of cinnamon in it. So that way I'm always mixing up my healthy snack options with different flavors, I never get bored. But keeping my pantry, keeping my fridge stocked with very natural, clean products that also happen to taste really, really good, like Primal Island does, it just makes it so effortless, so easy to stay on track with my wellness goals. I also like to display my fiber gourmet pasta in these kinds of containers. They have a significant amount of fiber and an insanely low amount of net carbs in comparison to normal pasta. I've also started putting my Opti Greens 50 into these containers too, just so I grab it on a more regular basis. Putting these healthy meal and snack options in clear containers and displaying them aesthetically not only is pleasing to the eye, but also psychologically, it just makes you gravitate and grab towards those things more effortlessly as opposed to things that might be tucked away. Now this wouldn't be a health and wellness focused video if I didn't at least mention a few exercise tips. One that I particularly love and swear by is when you're at the gym or maybe you're doing a run around the block, focus on a playlist, not the clock. Let's say you have a goal to work out for 45 minutes at the gym or maybe you want to do 20 minutes of cardio, whatever that may be. One thing that has always helped me is giving myself a playlist, a podcast, a TV show of that exact duration. And so that way I'm not focusing on the clock. I'm focusing more on the content that I'm consuming. Personally, I love the show Love Island. There's a new season right now and I've been watching it. Let me know if you are too. But I've told myself and made a deal with myself that I can only indulge in my trash TV as long as I'm doing it on the treadmill. As human beings, a lot of us are wired to resonate with those reward-based incentives. So as this show airs daily, and yes, it is one of those shows where it's on every single day, it's wild. But as this show airs daily, I make sure to get that hour of content consumption in as I'm also getting an hour of walking or running in. Similarly, of course, you can do this with music. Like if you want to dedicate 15 minutes just to an abdominal workout, create a playlist of songs that motivate you, inspire you, and just make sure that the accumulation of all of the songs equates to about 15 minutes. Then you can focus on the music while you exercise, not the timer itself. Music in general, 
has so many positive benefits whenever it's paired with exercise. It elevates our mood, distracts us from fatigue, and also psychologically, it reduces the perceived effort that we're putting in, which is fascinating. No matter if you prefer to work out to music, podcasts, TV shows, audiobooks, YouTube videos, just make sure that the duration of that content coincides with the duration of how long you want to exercise. Then just focus on those playlists and not the clock. It's going to make your exercising and workout experience so much more enjoyable. Speaking of exercising, make sure to view movement as a form of self-care, not as self-punishment. This very subtle but very impactful mind shift can absolutely have a profound impact on your wellness. Whenever it comes to movement and viewing movement as a form of self-care, there is no need to emphasize very strict gym routines, calorie deficits, weight loss goals, or intense power lifting. None of that has to be applicable at all. Movement and exercise can absolutely be a form of self-care whenever we approach it with gentleness, with purpose. Whenever you practice movement mindfully and as a form of self-care, you don't have to link it to a very specific fitness objective. Instead, it should engage your mind, celebrate your body, and as always, be doing something you actually enjoy doing. And sure, maybe that is doing a very intense hit class, or maybe it's just dancing around your living room. By incorporating daily movement into your routine, you create dedicated time for your yourself, promoting self-reflection, promoting self-care. It allows you to establish a deeper connection with your body, tune into its needs, and prioritize your overall well-being. Taking this time for yourself, it's an empowering moment for self-love and self-reflection. My final tip is to never miss twice. I think life is meant to be lived joyfully. And so because of that, in order to balance the two, I just have one simple rule that I try to follow. Whenever I indulge in a unhealthy meal, I don't beat my myself up about it, I enjoy it, and then I simply try to follow it up with a healthy one. Whenever I skip a day of workouts because I feel like that's what my body needs that day, instead, the next day, I just pick it up with an exercise that I love. Missing one is fine. We're human. Life is all about balance. But I never want to get in the habit of missing multiple in a row. Even top performers make mistakes like most people, but they also get on track way faster than most people. That's what I try to do with my wellness plan. I don't worry about life. I still have fun, but I also also use this very simple rule to guide me back on track as quickly as possible so that way I can really enjoy that true balance. Wellness is a holistic concept that recognizes all of the interconnectedness of different parts of our life. And that includes our physical fitness, it includes our mental clarity, it includes our emotional intelligence, but it also includes our social connections, our spiritual fulfillment, so much. All of the things I shared today absolutely help with my personal growth on my wellness journey and hopefully you were able to take something away from this video as well. Let me know in the comments some wellness hacks, wellness habits that you try and implement on a regular basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all next week. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope.